Uh, good morning, everyone, and uh, if we could have um, order, just a few moments for members to sit down. Good morning, and welcome to the 10th meeting of the Education Skills Committee in 2019. Uh, we have received apologies this morning from Gordon MacDonald. Um, agenda item one is uh, a dis business... Uh, is to take a decision on whether to take item five, which is consideration of the draft report on S Scottish national standardised assessments in private. Are we content to do that in private? Yeah. Are we content to take future consideration of the draft report in private? Agreed. Thank you. Agenda item two is subordinate legislation. We have two pieces of subordinate legislation this morning. The first piece is um, a consideration is the Education Fees and Student Support Miscellaneous Amendments EU Exit Scotland Regulations 2019 SS1 2019-70. This is a negative instrument and the details are provided in paper one. Do members have any comments on this instrument? Are we content to let that go forward then? Yeah, yeah thank you very much. Um, the second piece of subordinate legislation for the committee is the Teachers Superannuation and Pension Scheme Scotland Miscellaneous Amendments Regulations 2019 SSI 2019-48. This is also a negative instrument. Members may be aware that the Scottish Government has now laid another negative instrument that will amend the instrument before us today. Uh, the amending instrument would change the date of implementation of the increase in the employer contribution from the 1st of April to the 1st of September 2019. And this is set out in paper three. So do members have any comments on this instrument? And we're content to let that go forward. Thank you. Agenda item three today is a review of responses uh, in consideration of the committee's report on young people's pathways, a progress report on developing the young workforce. The responses have been received from the Scottish Government, Skills Development Scotland and the Association of Directors of Education and these are detailed in paper four. Before I invite comments from members, can I make one suggestion for further work in this area? Um, recommendation three of the report report recommends that the government undertake a large-scale quantitative survey on young people to establish whether developing the young workforce has progressed the culture shift towards achieving parity of information for young people on post-school options. The government response does not suggest it intends to undertake such a survey and on that basis suggests that the committee could rerun the survey of young people it used to instigate the inquiry. It was open for a few weeks and received over 900 responses when it was originally done. Uh, and we could run this same survey at the end of 2020 to assess any progress made towards parity of options. Uh, and this would be completed compared with the 2018 results. Um, so that was just a suggestion for the committee. I, I don't know if members have any other comments at this stage. Can I just ask? I, I couldn't remember this uh, when I was looking back last night. It was one session, I think, with Skills Development Scotland, but it was also referred to by colleges and universities about how accurate we are in determining the data as to where a young young person goes after leaving school. Did we make some progress on that? Because I, I'm, I'm going to have to defer perhaps our advice convener and the other members about this because I wasn't present for the. the Could we maybe find that out? Because it was quite, it was quite, it was quite an important. Um, I don't know if anyone else is able to. Because we to we made that. the suggestion that we needed to have. Uh, better quality information about when somebody leaves schools to try and track that progress. Mm -hmm. And I, I certainly remember it was referred to by Petra Vend uh, when the universities were talking about, um, you know, tracking uh, young people as they so went through institutions. So you propose we seek clarification from the government on that? Yeah, that would yeah. be helpful, yeah. thank you. Uh, I'm sure we can write to the government regarding that issue. Are there any other comments? Yeah, I don't um, know why this I mean, we might be reluctant to go through the whole thing. Um, which I did go through, um, and I've got quite a lot of points here, but I don't know whether it's really useful to raise them here. I was kind of concerned, as a general observation, that quite a number of the recommendations, what seemed to happen was they just repeated what they'd said to the committee before. So that teacher, sur that um, survey of young people is a good example. They say, well, we're just doing what we're doing. Um, there are examples around, I think we're awaiting a report on an update on retention and promotion of teachers. There was a report done for the Scottish Negotiate, Teachers Negotiating Committee. 
and that was supposed to be due in February 19. We can maybe ask what's happened to that. Um, I think there was issues around the quality of careers education. There was an issue about prioritising statutory levers, which again, they've just batted back. They haven't really responded. They're not engaged with the argument, which I think I found frustrating. Um, the, the whole question of, is there an equivalent to UCAS? They don't really respond to that. Um, there was a thing about workplace standards. We argued that people should be doing a module which tells them what they should expect when they go. And the response is, well, the standard tells you that, but the point is the young person should know. Um, and I suppose without um, pressure, I, uh, wasting too much time from other folk, I don't think they answer the question on positive destination for care leavers and disabled. Um, they don't answer the question about, we made a point around developing the young workforce, they shouldn't be left to schools to do it. And they don't again respond to that. They simply repeat what they've said before. And that was a, a concern for us that schools could end up in a position where they couldn't continue the good work that they were doing. Um, on the, the SQA, I pursued this question of commercial work. And they simply say, well, we have to um, be self-financing. Well, the question I would ask is why? Why more than any other public agency would we expect them to have to find a way of funding their core work? especially since the argument was made to us that um, the commercial work was a distraction and was diluting their, their ability to focus on what they needed to do. Um, the last two points, there was a question on panels, where we argued that it was important that, if possible, that panels could be consistent for a young person. And they say that 99% of those who ask for a con um, the same panel, that request is accepted, but that's not really the point. It's not the ones who simply ask for it, it's yeah. as, a, a, um, as a routine. Sorry, Jan, can I just stop, stop you there? Because we've got the agenda item about the general responses from the government. Um, so, so this ag agenda item was specifically in the developing young workforce. Oh, right. I think that's gone into okay. the... So which sure. we'll deal with. Sure. Uh, uh, so if it, specifically in the developing the young workforce um, issues is, and the report and the responses, are there any further comments from the committee? Several of the points that John's raised. Yeah. Are, are we content to write to the government, drawing their attention to the official report, and asking them to come back with further clarification detail, yeah. mm -hmm. on, yeah. on those issues? Yeah, definitely. Okay, that's very helpful. Thank you. So, so the next agenda item was the, um, the the more general and, and detailed um, response from the government on its response to our work um, and recommendations that we've made in earlier reports in general. Um, so I think most of your points up until that point about the panels was... Yep. That was the only point I had about the panels was in the consistency Is thing. that the children's, mm -hmm. children's panels issue? Were there any other points on the, the more detailed government responses? I yep. don't know if you want Sorry. to go yep. on. Mm -hmm. it, um, we made a point about um, thematic inspection around personal social education and how important that was. And the response they give is well, it can be inconsistent, but we found good practice, which kind of, again, just simply missed the point, um, which was we would want to make sure that the general, the access for young people across Scotland should be, if not done in the same way, at least there should be some basic things that were the same. So they've given guidance now on, on um, specifically the role of the TIE recommendations for yeah. inclusive education. I think, I think the point was should more Should we ask them to report back on that? I think that would be very useful. I think the other point was just around the role of the inspection system in identifying how consistent the approach was across Scotland. And I, I mean, I accept there'll be local flexibility and different priorities, but I don't think the response simply saying, oh, well, you know, this good practice would be, would be enough. Um, and I had one last one. Yep. Um, is anyone otherwise minded about those points? Should we like to for further detail for those ones? I think we're all... The, the only other um, point that I thought we might want to highlight is a, a recent work on ASN, again, which we have written to the government about, but just to highlight again to them the, you know, the, the, the importance of that work and... Um, getting some further information from the most recent evidence sessions that we've had. 
I thought the response in um, additional support needs was a bit disappointing. It was a bit thin, so it would be good if we could. Yeah, that. Yeah, I think we should highlight that. Yeah. Is everybody content with those? That way yes. forward. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, and that now concludes um, the public part of today's proceedings, and we will now move into private session. <laughs>